the game. What up guys? Charles Macro here today, taking a look at the newest update for Fishing Planet. It's a dev diary. The link will be down in the description below. Shout out to everybody that supports and shows love for the channel and all my anglers out there. Let's get into it. So in the most recent update of the dev diary, this is the Kaiji Nori fish species guide. We're looking at the new fish that are about to drop on that ocean update that everybody has been waiting on. This dev diary will help us plan the trip and maximize the fishing experience in Japan. So they're basically saying you can study the fish range, habitats, diets, lifestyle to help you get the best results and the most catches when we get this new update. Now, what we're really going to do is look at all the new fish. I'm going to mainly look at their weight because we always really care about how big the fish can get. And in some cases, how small they may be. The rest, I'll let you read when you pull this up. The link will be down in the description below. All right. The yellow fin tuna. Now they say tuna comes to mind in this region. You'll encounter six types of tuna, technically five. They'll get to that later on, whatever, whatever. But first off, we got this yellow fin tuna right here. Now the yellow fin tuna gets an impressive 440 pounds. That's a big mamma jamma right there competing with one of the top weights that we have in the game. Uh, yellow fins, they move really fast. They like run through the water. They feed actively. It has their depths but you can look through that. But let me know what you think of the yellow fan tuna. This is the end game look right here. Okay, they have the big eye tuna and it says it's basically similar to the yellow fin size diet behavior. So basically the big eye tuna is still gonna get somewhere in that 440 pound range, uh, just like the yellow fin. We got the Pacific blue fin tuna. Oh, now this one might be the record breaker unless they got something else after this one. This one can weigh over 880 pounds. That is crazy. 400 kilograms, almost a G in pounds. This is going to be a fight. I can't wait to see how this handles with the rod and the new mechanics trying to reel this jammy in. But yes, the Pacific Bluefin Tuna is 880 pounds. That's crazy. Next up, we have the Longfin Tuna, the Albacore. Now, this one gets to 132 pounds, 60 kilos. Okay. It goes depth to about 2,000 feet. Now, we are going to have to take into account the depths of the fish, how deep they go, and where you actually, or how deep you actually cash to catch them. All right. We got the skip jack tuna next, 77 pounds. You got the dog tooth tuna, 287 pounds. You got the giant grouper. Oh, this is another massive one, 882 pounds. Wow. So we got two fish in this ocean joint that go over 800 pounds, 400 kilograms. That is wild. They also show some of the preferred baits, so you can make note of that as well when preparing to get these. This one likes the Japanese spiny lobster, the gutted fish, large fish strips, crab, Japanese jack mackerel, and scale sardines. It'll be great if we get the ability to make our own bait, especially if we could cut up other fish. Next up, we have the ruby snapper, 77 pounds. The green job fish, 35 pounds. The mahi mahi, 88 pounds. The striped marlin. Now this one coming in at the top with 496 pounds, almost 500. That's another big one right there. Be able to put that striped marlin on your wall. Hmm? I didn't, I didn't, we did, all of us didn't catch this green fish. We and, didn't? Yeah, and this red fish. Okay. So I'm, I was trying to catch it. You're trying to catch it? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll go out and we'll catch. All right, next we got that great amberjack, 176 pounds. The Japanese amberjack yellow tail at 88 pounds. The giant trevally at 176. Ah, this reminds me of some of the fish we catch in another game that I like to play. Dave the Diver. Check that out if you haven't. The narrow barrel Spanish mackerel at 154 pounds. The striped bonito at 22 pounds. The Japanese jack mackerel at 1.3. That's a little one. You're going to have to do a little bit more finessing with that one. The Japanese anchovy. 3.5 ounces. Oh, that's a tiny fish. That's a tiny, tiny fish. Ooh, the big fin reef squid. Okay, we catching squids now. 4.4 pounds. Wow. Now they say that's the list of all the fish. And unless they have a surprise, maybe some more will come or they can release more and add more to it, hopefully. But that's not all they have prepared. 
They say the upcoming ocean map will be over 20 times bigger as they stated before. We got the fish guide and there is a significant presence of highly migratory fish. So they will migrate around and this new migration mechanic is called the fish active zones and it'll provide anglers with valuable hints where to find feeding grounds, the areas where the fish are gathered to feed on bait fish, plankton, and other food sources. So, okay, you take note of this and you'll see areas that are typically characterized by natural features or phenomena that attract fish, such as underwater structures, currents, temperature changes, and concentrations of prey. For example, seabirds such as seagulls will hover and dive over areas where fish are feeding near the surface. Such behavior indicates the presence of bait fish being chased by larger predator fish. In such hot spots, you'll witness different species of tuna leaping out the water to hunt small fish. Uh, they say they won't reveal all the secrets to ensure your adventure remains unspoiled when the ocean map is relief. But this gives you an idea of the feature's complexity. Fishing the active zones will dynamically change based on factors such as weather, time of day, natural elements, mirroring real life conditions. Now I think that's dope that you actually can look at these different factors and actually get signs of where the fish are. I feel like they kind of tried to have something like that in the current state, but it really wasn't. We, we just kind of found the spots and um, they worked the way they work. There weren't real indicators, especially natural ones of where to actually catch, you know what I mean? Last but not least, they've covered the fish you can catch, but there's more. While cruising on your yacht, you'll encounter pods of dolphins and majestic whales breaching the surface. These ocean creatures will not only add to the thrill of your stay, they'll also serve other purposes, which you'll discover later. Mm, I wonder if we can catch them and turn them into bait, or are they just gonna be cosmetic? Are they just gonna be uh, for the look and feel and the aesthetic of the game? It would be dope if we could actually use them as bait or even jump on them and, and wave surf on them or something, but <laughs> that's probably going a little too far. Uh, we feel your anticipation for the ocean update and share the excitement. Your support and attention mean the world to us as we work to bring you this new experience. Stay tuned for our next Dev Diary, all right? And they'll explore the location and new features and more details. Until next time, Peace from the Fishing Planet team. All right, all right, all right. So this is a very expansive list of fish. It's great that they've added it. It adds a lot more to the game, and especially this new location. Also, the active zones and being able to recognize, if you're paying attention, uh, more of the spots that the fish will feed. I think that's a great addition to the game. Can't wait to see it, you know, in live action because it sounds good in theory, but how it's actually executed will be another story. Um, it could just end up that people find spots and they always work and they're like the hot spots and they're pretty static, but they're trying to make it sound like they're gonna be pretty dynamic. Now, will this roll over into the other parts of the game, the game that's already been there, the legacy side of the game besides this, you know, ocean area, or will it just be in the ocean area only? Will they be able to implement it? I hope so. I don't know. They didn't say. Right now, it just sounds like it's in the ocean area. So again, will they implement it in the other facets of the game? Let's see. If you know, let me know down in the comments. Maybe you've heard or, or seen some type of update. Let us all know down in the comments all right so yeah man can't wait for the update let me know if you're ready for it drop that down there the link to this will be down in the description below check it out again give me any input any feedback man let me know what you done heard about the new update that's about to drop man we'll be out on the ocean with our friends fishing and taking these deep sea fishing trips man can't wait all right charles macro fishing planet thank you for stopping through you know what you must do. Make your next move your best move, all right? Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the, I run the macro, my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love money and the fame.